Hello? Hello, can you hear me? Yeah. Okay, how are you? I'm fine. All right, and uh, did you upload your homework on our FB group? Yeah. Okay, I will check it later. So for now, our topic will be under um, writing skills, okay? This time, okay. we will be talking about an invitation message. Are you ready? Okay. Okay, now. Can you see the screen? Yeah. All right. And then I think we're going to start our class. But before that, what did you do today? Mm. I'm going to my, my neighbor and eat. Mm -hmm. So you're visiting your neighbor, all right. So what did you do? Yeah, eat, eat lunch. Oh, I see. Okay. So this time we will be talking about an invitation message. Okay. So have you tried receiving an invitation message or an invitation letter? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And... How did you feel when you receive an invitation message or an invitation card? Mm. It's, uh... How do you feel when someone invited you or someone sent you an, an invitation? It's happy. Okay, so you feel happy. And then, what did you do? Did you accept the invitation? I... Write again, I write. Mm -hmm. and come on. So, are there also times that you rejected an invitation? Mm -hmm. Why? Can you tell me the reason? Mm -hmm. Is, um... Have you tried rejecting an invitation? Or someone that's uh, inviting you? I guess you didn't understand my question. Now I'm going to write it for you. Are there times that you accept it? Yes or no? Can you see my question here? Yes. Mm -hmm. What's your answer? Yes. Because I want yes. to, I want to hear you speak. Okay, because I want to hear you hear your side or your answer there is no right or wrong with this question okay i just want to test your speaking skills so that's why i am asking you a question so are there times that you accepted an invitation yeah yes mm -hmm. so are there times also that you didn't okay you didn't accept an invitation Are there times that you didn't accept an invitation? Can you hear me clearly? Yeah. Okay. So, can you did you understand my question? No. Mm, so, if someone invited you, you you usually accept an invitation. So that's what you mean. That's what you mean. So every time that you uh, someone is inviting you, 
So it means you accept it, right? Yes. Okay. So can you give me an example of an invitation that you receive? Mm. Is um invitation is a uh, wedding? All right. It's a wedding invitation. So whose wedding was that? Is that what? Whose wedding? A wedding of who? Are you attending to? Is uh my my uncle? All right, it's a wedding of your uncle. Okay, so have you tried receiving an invitation with your friends? Invitation is um. Have at, you? Uh, is is her day? Uh, like for uh, yes, for example, a birthday party. Have you tried? Yes. Have you tr okay. So did you did you accept the invitation? Yes. Okay. So the reason why I ask you because that is related to our topic for today. Okay. So this time you are going to read an example of a letter. Okay, an example of a letter from someone who wants to stay in her aunt's house. Okay, look at the, look at the screen. This is the scenario. You are going to stay with your aunt Jen next month. Read this letter from her about, about your visit. Write a reply and answer all your aunt's questions. So this is a letter from, for example, this is a letter from your aunt, okay? okay. Because you are going to, to visit or you are going to have a vacation and you are going to stay in her house. So this is a letter from your aunt Jan, uh, Aunt Jean. Okay, can you read the letter for me? Mm. Is Dear Sam, yes. this one in the box. Can you read the letter from Aunt Jean? Yeah, uh, is dear Sam, I I read the dear uh in the dear Sam you your uncle Dave. Dear Sam, your uncle Dave and I are so glad you are coming to stay with us next month. How long can you stay for? We can pick you up from the airport. Let us know what day and time you are arriving. We will got, we got a beautiful park and beach near the, of our home and there are several museums too what would you like to do here see you soon aunt jen all right so that is a letter from your aunt jen regarding the regarding the vacation next month so he asked some question how long can you stay for? Let us know what day and what time you are arriving. And she also said that there are lots of beautiful park and beach near your home. So what would you like to do? What would you like to do here? So this time, imagine that you, that you are Sam. So look at the reply below. This is the reply of Sam's letter to Aunt Jean. I will read it for you. Dear Aunt Jean, nice to hear from you. I can stay for a week. Thanks, it would be great to see you at the airport. I'm arriving at 10 April at...
All right, what happened? Yeah. What happened? Is it because of the internet connection? Uh, mm -hmm, I guess. Okay. So this time we're going to continue. I am going to read the, uh, the reply of Sam to Aunt Jane's letter. Nice to hear from you. I can stay for a week. Thanks. It would be great to see you at the airport. I'm arriving at 10 at April at 12 o'clock. I love water sports, so I would like to go swimming and maybe visit a museum too. Looking forward to seeing you next month. It's Sam. Okay. So based on the letter of Aunt Jean, do you think Sam answers all the questions of her aunt? Mm. Based on the reply of Sam's letter? Is, uh, this is the letter of uh, of her aunt, of his aunt, okay? And this is the letter of Sam. So the question here, there are lots of questions from, from her aunt, okay? So like this too. Do you think the, that question was answered here based on the letter of Sam? Is the question answered? Um, uh, How long will I, Sam stay uh, with her aunt? Um, her aunt can stay for a week. Okay, so Sam will stay for a week. Okay, so um, did Sam also uh, told Miss her aunt his aunt that the time and date that he will be arriving at the airport? Hmm. I think it's good he wait to see you at the airport. At what, what is the date and time? On uh, airport and our arriving on 10 April at 12 a year. Okay. okay, and 12 o'clock. So what will Sam do uh, Sam, in, in, her, in his vacation? Sam would like to go swimming and maybe visit a museum too. Okay, very good. Good job. Now let's continue. Here are some questions about the letter, okay? You're going to choose the correct answer to complete the sentence. Look at question number one. In this exam, questions, you are blank. Based on the letter, you are Sam. Okay, you are Sam. So you need to write blank, an invitation or a letter reply to an invitation. If you are Sam, what uh, you need to write a an invitation letter or a reply letter to an invitation. Reply letter to an invitation. Okay, very good. Number three, you need to write to whom? Who are you writing? Okay, very good. You are writing to Aunt Jean because you are replying for his for her message. Now number four, Aunt Jean wants to know blank. A, how long the flight is or how long you can stay for. How long the flight is? Mm -hmm. Is that mentioned in the letter? What did uh, Aunt ask on the letter? How long you can stay for? Okay, so that's the answer. And Jean asking is asking how long can you stay for in their house? Okay, you need to write blank uh, when you're arriving uh, or when uh, where the airport is. Where are the airport is? Mm -hmm. The correct answer is 
when you are arriving. You need to reply or you need to write to inform her that you are arriving. Okay? So that's the correct answer, letter A. Number six, and Jean also wants to know blank. What would you like to eat? Or B, what activities would you like to do? Mm. Like, like, I can also want to know what activity do you like to do? All right, very good. He's, her, he, she is also asking what are the activities that you would like to do? Next, this is the reply of Sam, okay? This is based on his letter. I blank like to go to the beach next month. Can you select the correct? I, I am, would like. Can you continue? I would like. Uh, I'd like to see the see the see the book. See. Letter C. So your answer is C. Can you read the whole sentence? I I I'd like I'd like to see the park too. Wait, 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 we're still in number one. Okay. Number one is wood. Number one. We're still in number one. See? I am, I will, or I would like to go to the beach next month. What is the correct answer? Is I would. Okay, can you complete the sentence? I I would like to go to the beach next month. All right, very good. Number two. I'd like to see part two. Very good. Number three. I'd love to take some photos in the park. So your answer is this, taking. I'd love the taking. Yes. Okay, the correct answer here is A, because you are going to take some photos, meaning you uh, you never done it. Okay, you will do it in the future. I'd like to take some photos in the park. All right. Now let's continue. Okay, here's the number four. Blank to visit the museum next month too. It's I. Okay. Number five. It blank mm. great to see you at the airport. What's the answer? The answer is it would be great to see you at the airport. All right, very good. It would be great to see you at the airport. Number six, blank would be great to go to the beach. It, it, it would be great to go to the beach. Okay, very good. Now, these are the tips, top tips for writing, okay? If you are writing a letter or an invitation, if you are writing a reply, okay? First tip is start your reply like, like this. Nice to hear from you or, okay, from, you are referring to the person who send you an invitation. And also make sure that you answer all the question. Okay, use I'd like to, I'd like to, it would be great. Two plus the verb that you want to say, want to do in the future. Now let's have an example. Can you give me an example of a sentence that uses I'd love to plus uh, the verb, okay? I'd like to, then verb. What? And tell me, what do you want to do in the future? Can you give me an example of a sentence? Using I'd love to, then I, add the verb. What? 
What would you love? What would you love? Uh, to, uh, what would you love to? To, to. I love to. I love to play. What do you want to do in the future? You're going to say, what would you love to do in the future? Football. <clears throat> I'd love to play football. Um, yeah. Can you state on... I'd love to play football. Okay, can you, can you at least uh, add some date or day that you will be playing football? I'd love to play football. I love to play football. This in coming. Office. Of this. When? When? Can you give me a day or date that you were going to play football? Football is coming uh, soon. It's coming soon. Okay. Um, uh, using this sentence, you, you, you need to use a specific day. Like, for example, I'd love to play football this coming Monday. Okay, that's an example. Now, can you give me another example of a sentence that uses I'd love to? Um, I'd love to play PlayStation for this uh, this Thursday. Okay, very good. I'd love to play PlayStation this Thursday. Now, next. We're going to make an example of a sentence that using I'd like. I'd like to. Play. Now, can you think of another verb instead of play? Can we use another uh, word instead? I'd like to eat. Chicken bread. This Friday. Chicken bread. Okay, this Friday. Okay. Next is it would be great to. Can you give me an example of a sentence that you are great for? It would be great. Would be great to go to swimming. It would be great to go to swim. It would be great to swim. Oh, in in the summer. Okay, or in the beach. Okay, that would be better. All right, good job, boy. Now, if you are going to reply, um. Uh, letter or an invitation you, sh you should remember the top tips okay and to finish by saying looking forward to seeing you or see you next month see you Saturday or see you soon okay that will be the end of your letter now I want to show you an example and I want you to write a reply on the invitation okay can you see the screen this is a party invitation. Assuming that this letter is for you, this is from Natasha. Oh, wait, wait, I'm going to erase it. I will replace it with your name. I read this. No, 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 wait, wait for me. Is it too small? Yes. Right.
Okay. Assuming that this is an invitation for you, I will write your name here. To Koi. Okay. From, can you give me a name? Example mm. of a name. Can you give me a name? Any name mm. that you like? My name? Um, Any names? What? Any names? Just think of a name. Is Tom? Tom, all right. So, imagine that Tom is giving you an invitation, okay? To Hoi, and this letter is from Tom. Subject, my birthday party. So this time, I'm going to change this into Hoi. Okay. Hi, boy. It's my birthday next Saturday, June 4th. I'm having a party at my house from 2 until 6. Can you come? I hope so. It's going to be a lot of fun. We are going to decorate the house with balloons and streamers. At the party, we are going to play games. And after that, we are going to have birthday cake and ice cream. I'm going to have a DJ too, so there will be great music and dancing. Please let me know if you can come. Hope to see you on Saturday. From Tom, okay? This letter is from Tom. Okay, so your task now, Hui, is you are going to reply the invitation, okay? Okay. Okay, so this is the letter from Tom. He is inviting you for her, his birthday. She said, I hope, wait. She said, I hope, she is, he is hoping that you can come because they did, decorated the house with balloons and streamers at the party. There are also games and after that there will be uh, music and dancing because he is also inviting a DJ. So for now, what you are going to do is you are going to reply the invitation, okay? So I want you to write to Tom, okay? From who? From who? The subject of this is Birthday invitation reply. So what will be your message to Tom? What will be your reply to the invitation that he sent? <clears throat> what are you going to write? Is to write. What are you going to say to Tom? Uh, so Tom is the... Hello, Tom. Hello, where are you? Yes. Hello, Tom. Okay. Mm. I, I will... I will... Uh, I will come to your birthday next Saturday. Um. So, uh, and so, what else would you like to say? Is uh. Is I nervous? I is 
so nervous to go your first day? I'm nervous. Mm -hmm. What else? Mm. I hope it's um, going to be a lot of fun and to be fun. What else? <laughs> what else would you like to say? Uh, you can also make it short. Uh, you can also make it simple. I okay. Now I'm going to remember the tips. Remember the tips of writing. Number one, nice to hear from you. You don't don't uh, don't forget that. First, we hello Tom. You're also in, uh, you can also say thank you for yeah, inviting you. me. I will come to your birthday this coming Saturday. You can all you can also delete this. Okay. I hope it's going to be a lot of fun. I'll see you this. I'll see you soon. From Okay, so this is an example of a reply to an invitation based on uh, the part, uh, birthday party invitation. Okay, you can also say it like that. Thank you for inviting. I, I will, uh, you will state if you will come or not. And then your, what is your hope? And of course, you will end this with, I'll see you soon. I'll see you this Saturday. And first, you're going to say, Thank you for inviting me. Okay, so this time, that uh, those are the tips of to write of writing an invitation. So this will be your homework. Hui. Okay, you're going to write a reply based on this letter. Okay, you are going to stay with your aunt Jean next month. Read this letter from her about your visit and write a reply and answer all Aunt Jean's question. So aside from the example that we read in the first slide, this time you are going to write your own reply to the letter, okay? Okay. Do you want to copy this or I will just send it to you? Send it to me. Oh, I will just post it on our group, okay? Yeah. Okay, so are there any questions that you want to ask? We still have three minutes more. Are there any questions that you want to ask? Okay, I want you to write your letter on uh, using the Microsoft Word. Do you know how to use it? Use what? Microsoft Word. Oh. Oh, yes. Okay, so use the Microsoft Word to write your letter. 
and take a picture of it. Take a picture. Then upload it to our FB group. Okay? Okay. So remember, the top tips, okay? What was that? First is you're going to say, what was the tips of writing? Do you remember? Start your reply with, nice to hear from you or thank you for the letter or um, I received your letter and make sure to answer all, answer all the questions, okay? You can use I'd love to, I'd like to, and it would be great. And finish by say, say, saying, looking forward to seeing you next Saturday, next month, soon, or an other, okay? Don't forget the tips. And I will also send this to you. Uh, I will also send this to you privately. Wait, wait, wait. I'm going to... Print screen this and I'll send it to you right now. Did you receive it? I sent a screenshot of the top tips in writing. Did you receive it? I sent you a chat. Okay, just check it later. So I'm just going to upload the assignment, okay? Okay. Okay, so I'll see you again tomorrow. Goodbye for now. And have a great day. Bye-bye.